This next sequence here is all about shifting your weight and improving your balance. And I'm going to integrate this movement piece by piece. So we're going to start off with learning how to take a step. This is used in Tai Chi and Qigong and it's one of the best ways to move across a slippery surface. So if you find yourself out on a frozen lake and you have to get out somehow, you'll be glad you know this one, okay? Also slippery parking lots, driveways and stairs, also useful. So this is our slow walking stance. Bend your knees and first we're just gonna get grounded and connected to your feet. So we're gonna draw water from the well. Feet together, palms face back. Inhale, curl, palms turn forward, pinky ring, middle index thumb, curl into a fist, hold it hip height, and then exhale, lower it back down. So you rise up under your toes as you inhale, hold it around the core, exhale, let it down. Keep going just like that. Now plant your feet close together if you can. Relax your arms to the side. Now lean forward as far as you can, all the way forward. It's like that Michael Jackson picture, remember? Maybe not that far, but lean forward. Keep your heels down though. As far as you can with the heels down. And now back, back, back slowly. As far as you can back, keeping your toes down. Again, forward. All the way forward, as far as you can, keeping the heels down, hold it. Feel the bottoms of your feet waking up. Back. Slowly shifting your weight from front to back. Now 50-50, find the center. If you want, you can close your eyes, find the center. Front to back, breathing. Bamboo in the breeze, feel your body sway. Always returning to center. Feel the thousands of micro adjustments from the hundreds of thousands of nerves, all working under the radar. Release any unnecessary tension from the upper body. Feel the energy in your feet. Good. Now for our walking form. Turn your right toes out 45 degrees. Shift all your weight to your right foot. Empty the left foot. Raise your knee until it's empty, then you lift it. You'll lift the toe and then touch the heel down. Then glide forward. Okay, now you'll repeat that. Front toe opens out to the side. Shift your weight to the front leg. Empty the back foot. Slide it forward, the knee leads, hover, flex your toes up. Gently, softly touch the heel down. Remember, you're the cat in the snow. There's no weight there yet. You haven't committed. Then you lean in. And you'll end up in that step. Continue that pattern, open the toe. Shift your weight. Empty the back foot, 
hover and glide it forward. Flex the toe. Gently touch down and then lean in all the way. So now walk around the room, okay? You don't have to go in a straight line. You can turn in different directions. Walk around the room with your slow walking stance. If you forget a few details, don't worry. The key is transferring your weight smoothly and effectively. Open out the toe, shift your weight. Only pick up the foot when it's empty. There's no weight on it. And set it down without any momentum taking you. The reason why we slip and trip is because we put our weight down with all this momentum before we know if it's safe. So this is the opposite. You're only putting it down when you decide, not because of the momentum making you. Take another minute, walk around the room. The slower, the better. Slow it down. Hands can just relax by your side. Core is strong. Nice. All right, nice work. Come on back. Now, I wanna share with you a stance and a pattern that you can use. And you only need a, about two steps of square space. So I want you to pick a spot. So here I'm on my mat and I'm on the back right side. Okay, so pick a spot where you have a square that you could go one, two steps forward, then you turn left. You can go one, two steps forward, take another left, two steps forward, another left, two steps forward. That's the path we're gonna make. So you need to make enough space that you've got two feet, two steps, that you can go forward, left, left, left. Got it? All right. So I'm gonna break down a, a, a traditional Tai Chi pose called brushing the wild horse's mane. And in traditional Tai Chi, you actually need about 30 feet of space from left to right to actually do it properly. So I'm gonna show you how you can do these forms with a much smaller amount of space by changing the order and the steps. Same movement, just a different order. So we're gonna start like you're sketching a face. When I was taking art classes in high school, I used to draw, if I was to draw a face, I would start with something like the eye and I would draw it until it was done. And then I'd draw the other eye and then I'd finish the eye and then I would do the nose and then I'd do the mouth. And guess how the face looked at the end of that? <laughs> it was all out of order, it's all out of proportion. So they say, don't do it that way. In art, you start with a sketch. Just sketch the head, sketch the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then you can erase it and say, oh, that's not proportional, I'll change it around. And then layer by layer by layer, you add the details. So I want you to practice in the same way. Don't try to make it perfect from the beginning. We're gonna just sketch out the details later and little by little, all right? So the first step is we're gonna just learn the, the, the space that you're gonna move through. Hands can just rest by your side and you're gonna practice the same steps. So shift your weight to the right leg, empty your left foot, step forward, Turn that foot out, 
Shift your weight to the left foot. Step forward again. All right, that's your two steps forward. Same thing, two steps to the left. So you pivot. Notice how you don't have to do much. You just turn your hips and you're in that stance. Step forward. Turn the foot out. Shift your weight. Empty the back foot. Step forward. Same thing, turn left. Empty the left foot. Step forward. Shift your weight. Right foot. Step forward. Last left turn here. Turn left. Empty the left foot. Step forward. Pivot your foot open. Shift your weight. And step forward. All right, so you should now be right where you started, right? Two, 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 two. Let's add another layer. So this time you're gonna step forward with your left foot and your left hand is gonna lead with you and float, okay? So your hands are now involved. So you shift your weight, empty the left foot, step forward and let your left hand open like you're throwing a Frisbee. So your palm is up. It's a very slow motion throw. It's not going far, okay? Or like you're brushing that wild horse's mane. So see that? So your left hand just glides forward. Your hips and your hand kind of move together. The palm is up and, and your, your thumb is out like an L and you're brushing forward, okay? So left foot brushes forward. Now switch, open that left foot. And now your right foot goes forward and your right hand will brush. Yeah, just like that. You can try it a few times, forward and back. Hips and hands move together, brush. Yeah, brush, beautiful. All right, so that's the second step. Same thing now, turn left. Left hand leads, brush. And you're just gonna do it once, once you get the hang of it. Switch feet. Right hand, right foot, brush. 90 degrees to your left. Brush. Right foot. Brush. Take another left, home stretch. Brush. Open your feet, switch hands, other foot. Right hand, right foot, brush. All right, not too hard, right? So now we're gonna add one more element. So just as your front hand brushes forward, your back hand goes back like this. So the back hand, the palm is down and you just brush it down like that. So the front hand goes forward. So we're just gonna do a, a little uh, zoom in here. So your left foot will go forward, left hand, Forward, right hand. So let's just do this a few times, just back and forth. Your hands kind of brush past each other. Your weight shifts back leg, both legs. Easy, right? Now the other foot, right hand forward, left hand back. Feel the balance. Isn't it a nice feeling your body your brain are balanced as you do this. Just brush. Yeah, looks great. Again, don't worry about it. We're still sketching it out. So don't get, don't get all stressed out about it. Just relax. Okay, you ready to add the feet? So we're gonna do the same thing. Left foot, right foot, turn left. All right, so start in the middle. Lift your hands into a ball. Left foot forward, left hand forward, right hand back. Brush, and then the hands return to center. Pivot the foot, shift your weight. Right foot, brush. That's it, now turn to your left, same thing. 
brush. Come back to center. Lift the foot. Step. Right hand, right foot. Brush. Back to center. Turn left. You're walking in a square. Keep going. You got this. And now the final step, back to where you started. Brush. Yeah, hover, right foot, brush. Okay, so if you're back to where you started, you've completed that circle. Now we're gonna add one more element. And this is where you can start to really challenge your balance. This is where you can really play with it. So when you start off, I want you to imagine you're holding a ball. You're holding a ball in your hands, okay? And if you want to make this more challenging, you're just going to do it slower and you're going to hover a little longer. All right, so let's start off. Start in that back right corner. Hold your ball. Your right hand on top, left hand on the bottom, okay? Now, open your right toe out, shift to your right foot. Empty your left foot, hover, step forward, brush the wild horse's mane. Left hand forward, right hand back. Come back in, hold the ball, open your toe, step forward, brush hands spread apart yeah come back in hold the ball right hand still on top to the left brush return to the ball shift your weight back empty the foot balance slowly brush try to move your head and eyes forward now hold the ball right hand on top Step forward, brush. Come on back, open the toes. Brush. Last one. Nicely done. So at first you won't feel all that natural, but over time, so now just continue on your own. Do a couple more cycles, okay? You can slow down. If you wanna just repeat one movement over and over, that's okay. If you go out of your space a little, that's okay. Brush the wild horse's mane. Let your breath follow your movement. Exhale as you expand. Inhale as you draw in. You're doing great. Another minute, continue on your own. Just do your best. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Put those pieces together little by little. Come on back to center. Well done. 